In an earlier video, we have seen how semaphores can be used to ensure synchronization and mutual exclusion between the processes. So suppose if we have a resource which is controlled by a semaphore S and if any process wishes to access this resource and we want to ensure mutual exclusion, then this process will first wait on the semaphore and then after using the resource, it will signal the semaphore so that any other process which wishes to use the resource can now use it. However, an incorrect use of semaphore operations can cause problems. Like instead of first doing the wait operation and then the signal operation, if we first write signal and then write wait, or what would happen if we write wait on both the places instead of signaling it. So use of this incorrect use of semaphores, it may result in deadlocks and timing errors and these might be difficult to detect also by a programmer. So instead of using semaphores, we can use monitors which are providing a high level abstraction and a convenient and effective mechanism for synchronization of processes. So monitors are an abstract data type. So they encapsulate the data and the set of functions which have to operate on that data. So a monitor will have the data and the functions which are to be performed on that data. And within that monitor, there will be some programmer defined operations which will provide the mutual exclusion within the monitor. So any process which is using the monitor will be ensured that mutual exclusion will be provided to that process. So within the monitor, the variables will be declared and the value of these variables will define the state of the resource of that uh, type. Now these variables can be accessed only by the local functions which will be declared within the monitor. The functions which are declared within the monitor can operate only on the variables that are declared locally within the monitor as well as it can access its own formal parameters. Now within a monitor, it will be ensured that only one process at a time is active within the monitor. So we have a monitor over here and there, there will be some shared variable declarations over here and a set of procedures or functions which will have their own formal parameters as, as well as the variables that they can, they are, that, that are declared within this monitor. So these procedures they can use these variables as well as the formal parameters and perform operations on, these, on this data. Also there will be some initialization code. At any given point in time, only one process will be allowed to be active within the monitor. So the, uh, apart from all the data and the functions that have been declared within the monitor, there needs to be some additional synchronization mechanisms and these are provided by the condition construct. So the programmer can define one or more variables of this type condition. So suppose if a condition variable x and y have been declared, then the only operations that can be performed on these condition variables are the wait operation and the signal operation x dot wait suppose x is a condition construct so x dot wait any process which is invoking this operation will be suspended until another process invokes x dot signal so till the time another process x dot invokes x dot signal till that time the process which is waiting on x dot wait will keep be will be suspended and this x dot signal which is invoked by some other process will resume exactly one suspended process. And if there is no process which is suspended, even if a process invokes this, then this operation will have no effect. So if we look at the schematic view of a monitor, we can see that there is some shared data which is declared. Then there are condition constructs and queues which will, will be waiting on these con conditions. That means there are certain processes which are waiting for on the x condition and certain processes which are waiting on the y condition. 
there will be some set of procedures over here or the operations or the functions which can work on this shared data. Also there will be some initialization code. This is the entry queue that means the set of processes which wish to use this monitor to make sure that this set of processes or functions can be used to work on this shared data. So one by one the processes will be allowed to use the monitor and take, make use of the mutual exclusion constructs provided by the monitor.